Today's Excel lesson will be on implementing data and showing it in charts, and different kinds of charts like column charts or pie charts, and anything else that you might need for a presentation or to just represent any kind of data. So here I've just made up a few numbers. Uh, this doesn't represent any kind of actual survey or anything, but uh, just go ahead and pause the video now and put these values into Excel. Um, and once you've done that, we will go ahead and make a column chart with this. Making column charts are very easy in Excel. All you have to do is highlight the information like this. Go to Insert, and we'll go to Column Chart. And we'll just pick the standard two-dimensional one. And now it comes the data like this. You can see it all represented in this final column. We have the total number of people that shows how all of the data is distributed. Now we can go ahead and go to layout and let's add a chart title above the chart. I'll just call this survey of people. We can go ahead and delete the legend because it doesn't really tell us much. And that's basically all you need to do to make a, a chart in Excel. Now I've prepared a second sheet of data. We're going to make a pie chart here. So again, just pause the video and implement this data into your own sheet. Once you've done that, we will do like we did likewise. We're going to highlight all of this information. And we're going to go to Insert, Pie Chart, and we're just going to get a standard two-dimensional pie chart. Now it'll show you how all this data is distributed. Um, you notice that I didn't include total number of people because in a pie chart it already includes that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to clean this up a bit and make it easier to read. Let's right click on the pie chart and add data labels. Now it'll just add all of the numbers here that we have and we can clean this up even more by formatting the data labels. It'll bring up this dialog box. Let's add the category name so it'll show um, which car dealership it came from and let's also add a percentage so we can see not just the numbers but the percentage of the pie that's being used. If we close that we'll see that these data labels have all been added. Because we have the names of the categories already let's go ahead and delete this legend. We don't need it anymore. And we can also notice that you can drag these data labels out and make it easier to read or you can center them inside the pie chart, whichever is good for you. Finally, let's go to layout, add another chart title above the chart, and just call this chart Cars People Drive. So making charts in Excel is as easy as that. You just go ahead and put your data in, highlight it, and bring it out. And of course we can make sure that we uh, format our data labels any way we want. We can add category names, percentages, the values, and there's all kinds of options for how we want to display our data.